uh, flower, I need to separate the center from that. So I'm going to separate the center. Imagine somewhere like this. It's not really high, it's not really down. It's exactly on the center of the paper, but I keep more space for the top part. And please draw a circle. Even this part, it's covered by ladybird because that ladybird is come on top of the flower. So I draw the pencil line, same as a circle shape. It's big and it's not completely visible all the part. That's fine. You can leave it to reach the side of paper. We need to keep some space white in between because you see that these are greeny of the background is visible in between. The details I'm not going to add now. I will do those details later. Just the whole shape of petals is need to do right now. And then I try to Keep some space white in between. Start the line, make a little curvy, come out. The finishing part, it's not visible. So leave it to uh, fade to the background. By watercolor, we come and make it fade. And please draw very light. I, I do dark because I would like to show you the drawing. And after that, I, I, I will erase those, those lines. And then the other side, gentle C curve, come here. I'm not and uh, finish the flower petals. I just leave it to the background, these two. And then the third one, I'm going with the big one of here. So we finish with the flower, we would like to place ladybird. And ladybird is just one big circle shape and nice triangle shape on top, but the triangle is not pointy. It's curvy on each side and should be big because it's something like that. If I start from here, then it should be finished till here. So it's big. And from both sides, I place it like that. So this is look like rectangle, if I imagine the big one. This is separate head part and the body part. Now easily after I draw this line, I can place the body of uh, Ladybird here, 
connect it with nice curve together. And from here, I try to connect them together again. The line here, maybe it's a straight. I would like to make it curvy. And then the other side, which is this part. It's nice curve on top as well. So it's not straight. I erase the straight line that I draw before and make it curve. So if you see the petals line are visible here, I don't need those. I try to erase those. I see it should be more round. As I mentioned, anytime we can fix the shape. But in watercolor, it's better to fix your shape before adding watercolor. When you add the colors, it's not easy to fix the shape. Actually, it's impossible. And then separate line from the center. Bring it down a tiny bit because here is black. These two part is reddish color and we don't need to uh, draw each details here. We will do it later. Just the whole drawing shape is enough. So I mentioned that we need triangle shape here. If I draw one line like here and here, it's like a triangle, but I need to make it curvy and both three sides, like here is a little C curve and here a C curve, here again C curve, it's not pointy. Even we can make it a little bit fat. I think it would be better to be fat, like that. And then erase the line that we don't need it anymore. Just mention about two sides of eye and we don't need more than these details. Now the shape of hand. We will add more details later by brushes. Just mention about the place of hand and foot. This is yellow, I put it aside and I need the green color. I have sap green, I bring it here. You can use any warm green you have, sap green, permanent green, viridian green. Please bring it here, add a drop of water into that to be runny like this, easily you can move it. Then wash your brush very well. And start with the lighter tone. I, I always recommend to start with light color in watercolor and then add the dark tone. So that with yellow color start, cover around the flower petals. Be careful with the tip of round brush, you can easily control it. I'm not using wet on wet technique. I just have a water in my uh, brush, so. When you are close to the petals, you can use tip of the brush. When you want to move it further and play to leave it to the white of the paper, use hold the brush and try to control, come here and then leave it like that because we need to fade it to the background. And then bring yellow color here. This part, it's more yellowy because of that, I start with the yellow color and when I'm close to the pedal, use the tip. When I go further, try to use hold the brush and leave it to the paper. Now, when it's wet, move on with the green. Please not add any more water into that. Just add, here is wet. Add a drop of green into that. And you already see the green move to the yellow because both colors are wet. Very gently add darker green into yellow and let it move to the yellowy tone. A tiny bit green I need here, like this. Then clean the brush very well, touch the napkin. Start with yellow a little bit if you want. 
You can add yellow, bring it back into the green. Just play with the color to move together easily. And then leave it get draw. We don't need to work a lot. In watercolor, less is more. So it's better just one time finish the painting, not work more and more. Because when you work more, sometimes happen, uh, you make the painting dirty. After finish this part, we move on again into the yellow. Dilute hold the brush into the paint. Easily can move. Then start this section. With the tip, I try to separate two petals from each other. Bring the yellow color here. And then use hold the brush to let it come close to the white color. I, I keep the paper white, you see that? Because we don't need to add any paint there. Then clean the brush, move on with green. I use less water into my green because the yellow already wet. Start adding some tone here and it's already moving to the yellow because both color are wet. And then leave it get dry by itself. Just a little bit space left from between the petals and those are more uh, greeny. There is no yellow on that. So I'm going to add water in the green. This is so light. For this part, I'm going to add wet brush controlled by napkin. Even you can touch the napkin and let it control by uh, the amount of water by napkin. And just color here in between, bring it down. But I would like to have some darkness here too. So please not add any water into the brush. Hold the pigment. And with the tip of the brush, add a little bit dot on top of the painting. It's already moved together and fade together. And then some here. And then this two part is the same as here, which is just a green, not yellow. So instead of yellow, I move on with light green, which is watery, and then dark, which is pure. For watery brush, I use whole the hair of my brush. Just cover whole this part. And for the darkness, I just go with the tip and add some dark shadow here with the tip. And you see, I just spread the paint. It's already moved by itself. 
because the surface is wet. I diluted hold the brush into the yellow, bring it here on the center. You see that it's it's not really runny because if you add lots of water, it's move everywhere. That's not a good point. And it's not draw something you can easily uh, hold, use hold the brush diluted into the paint and you can easily paint and it gives you time to be wet to bring another color on top. That's the best. So please, with the whole brush, try to add paint around the deeper and add a center with this yellowy color. I use this big brush for that and I'm not letting draw. So with a smaller brush, I'm going to take the red color or even orange color, doesn't matter which one. But very less water into the red. Try to add with a tip, add some dot like here into the um, yellow surface. And it's better to not really watery because it's on top of the wet surface. And just with the tip, try to add randomly some dot inside. Some part when it's really wet, they fade to the background, but they fade to the yellowy part. For some part which is not really wet, they they are be visible more. A little center under this. So I feel I need just some green as well. Clean the small brush, move on with the green. A little water into that. Just a little please. Because green is so dark, we need to be careful. And it, some dot, bring it here, very less. And some bring it here. It's already wet, move it to the background. Background, I mean the yellow part of the center. And even under uh, Ladybird, we can add a little bit more as a shadow. And some here. It's interesting to spread this dark color around the flower center. Not everywhere, just some would be enough. Like that is enough. Even a little bit into the centers is okay. Watery brush. Bring it because it's uh, it's start to get draw now. I I bring some into the center of flower. Uh, sorry, pa palette. And you see, it's so dark now. I don't need this darkness. Add a drop of water, more drop of water, make it light and loose. Then we need to control by napkin, and then bring into the paper. So, for some part like this petal. If the center is completely draw, we need to add some touch like that. You see, mm -hmm. it's it's so light, you're not able to see huge difference between the white and this blue. It's not dark blue. And just with tip of brush, make some line. Or with the whole brush, bring it, if the petal is this big, bring it like that. Or even one side of the pedal, we can use it as a shadow with just the blue. But if you do it and uh, you see that it's get dark on your paper, don't be worried. Wash the brush very well with the clean water. Just touch the edge of this blue color and let it fade to the white like that. So I think that's enough for one pedal. We can move on the next part. This happened for each pedal one by one. And I have all this white of the paper be visible. 
So one line here, a little bit, add some tone, one line there, and toward the center, I draw one line too. Clean the brush very well. Need a yellow for this part. Dilute it into the yellow. And one side of the petal is just yellowy. And I bring that yellow. Then leave it, get dry. Even for this one, if you like, you can add a little green as well. But the light green, I mean, here. Tiny bit. Just for changing the color. Clean the brush. Move on with the light blue color. I mean the cobalt. Make it light by water. Before adding to the flower, we need to touch the napkin to control it one or two times. Then with the tip of brush, from center come out. Like this. So for those, we don't need to work a lot. Just for this one, which is under the other flower, we need to make a shadow for that. So all this way is bluey. That shadow helped me. Let me darker. This one dark and then bring it up. That's showing me this petal is placed under the others. The other one. So I don't need to... Keep it really white. It's okay to make it a little blue. But please not add any dark color for the other petal uh, the, that's close to this blue. I'm not adding anything for here. Just a little bit touch I'm going to add here on the center. And that's enough. in the middle and then you clean your brush to get the second color most of like... the time yes depend on the oh. color if you go with the light color it's better to do that if you go with the dark color doesn't matter because otherwise you're putting this other color in the other color and it seems to mix more than an acrylic yeah that's like... okay that's okay, if, okay. You, uh, if, if you see that i'm add my brush yeah. into the blue bring it here just add a drop of water move to the brown doesn't happen anything that's okay. 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 But with light color, it's better to clean your brush and then move on from yellow to the red or from orange to the, for example, light green, something like that. It's better each time clean your brush and then move to the other. Okay. Okay. I think my, my ladybird, it's fine. We can move on next part if everyone are okay. With this dark color that we make it by blue and brown, if you see, it's not watery, it's it's not dry, it's not watery, it's something in between. So with the tip, I try to shade the darkness like this part. And again, I'm not worried about the white part. I'm going to add that white color for eyes and everything later with white gouaches or white acrylic. Just with the tip of brush, try to shape the face or even the head, it's head part. And the small brush is really good for these details. And now I can use the tip to add some more details like this part. I don't know exactly the name. And even the small hand. Like that, with gentle C care, or even it looks like S care. And even here, and all this happened with the tip of brush. You can easily draw those. Even the foot, 
from both sides here and there. When it's connect to the body, it's a little thicker line. When it's go out, we can use a smaller and narrow line like that and shape it like this. After you finish, it, it need completely your red color be dry. Then we can add more details on top. Now I'm going to start from here, draw the line to separate these two parts from each other, like that. I try to keep it narrow when I come close to the head, but here it's okay to be a little thick. And then again, wants to shape this circle part. I have one circle here, one circle here, one here. So be careful, red should be dry. If it's wet, please use hair dryer to let it dry first and then add the details on top. This is a little look like triangle shape. And one circle I'm at here, going to add there. And one here. I think would be enough. Just one line darkness I'm going to add on this part of the body. I want to show you the fun part of this painting. Before adding the white color on, on our ladybird, I would like to show you how you can spread this dot everywhere, which is so fun. But be careful. If you are going with the watercolor, it would be okay because watercolor easily can uh, clean, can be clean. But acrylic stick to the surface and it's not easy to get right of it. So please, if you work with acrylic, please better to add the white paper or napkin around yourself because it's spread everywhere, not to make dirty uh, around yourself. And put a napkin, after it get dry completely, I put a napkin or paper on this part because the uh, dots are covered this section of the painting. So you can keep that part a little bit light, to be light. And I'm going to use green and blue. So add a drop of water into the green, bring it here. This technique with acrylic and watercolor both are the same. It's better to be watery, especially for acrylic, it's better to be more watery because acrylic is more heavy paint. It's more texture has and creamy, but watercolor is already watery. So please use like that, green. And a little bit blue, I'm going to bring here, add a drop of water. Okay. Then I diluted whole my brush into the pen. I'm going to use smaller brush with the blue. Hold the hair. And let me put something here. Okay. I'm going to, where is this one? I'm going to use this paper to add here. I would like to keep this part be light. Diluted, hold the brush into the paint. Take something like another brush or pen or pencil, something like that. Spread like this. It's so lovely because randomly you can spread some dot everywhere. And you see that this paper get dirty as well. A little space between the paper and then as much as dot you interested, you can spread everywhere. Then move on with the green. And it's randomly spread, so it depends how much water you have. It can make a big uh, circle or dot or smaller one. Even you can control it by adding a little bit less 
you mean that not really fast or something like that you can control it even when you're close like this it can spread really tiny tiny uh dot here when you go further you can go with the bigger size so it depends how much you're interested to have or how many color you would like you cannot just go with the blue or uh green you can go with any color you like like red let me bring some red and that's the interesting part so look at that lots of that here happen but still my ladybird is clean if you work with the watercolor brush please wash it immediately Take a pure paint, a white, and now I would like to separate the eye like that as a circle. I keep a tiny bit blacky part inside and then just go with a round. One of our friends was fast and already finished uh, the eyes so and then I separate the nose here with one line some shadow part on this part of the head it's not shadow it's some light color so loose and light I try to help it sit white color here and again I need a line for this section with the tip of brush. So if you see, I'm going to with a small brush. It's better to go with a smaller brush or pointy brush. Add a line here. And one thicker line here on the left and one thicker line here on the right to show. Yeah, I think it would be enough. For one or two liner here, it's okay to bring. Make it shiny and details more. Just this one. Please add and clean the brush very well. 